Hello, this is Sokhan Glishmaster, and I'm going to show you how to make a um, intro like this. I did it with Adobe After Effects CS3 Professional. Um, if you don't have it, private message me. I'll tell you how to get it for free. Um, okay, so let's just jump right in. Uh, make a new project and then go to composition, new composition. Call it anything you want. I'm going to call mine 3D Room. Use NT. Um, NTSC TV widescreen. Uh, make it 30 seconds. Um, click and drag this over, so like right to there. Click and drag this over just a little bit, so you can see the whole video. Just make sure that you can see the whole video. Okay, now I want to go up to layer new. Oh no, just kidding. Don't do that. You're gonna have to go to. Google image search and search a wall texture wall texture you need that for one of the walls so just download any picture you want for one of the walls of your room so after you have that go to file import file and import that file into here mine happens to be this one You can drag it onto your video and you can resize it. Make it so that the top and bottom are touching. Then click on your little textures thing down here. Click on your 3D button. You should see some a Y, um, X and Z axis. Take your rotation tool. Rotate it on the Y axis until it's like invisible. Almost. Sure, let's go with that. Go down here, take your selector tool, move it on the Z axis over to the right. You can also make it a little longer. Click and drag this that way, and then click and drag this this way until it gets like right there. And then there's one more. Go in here, click it, Control D to duplicate it, and then click and drag the Z over to the left to about right there. So now we have like two symmetric walls. Um, so those are your two side walls. Now take and go down here, click on the, that one, Control D. Drag it by its z-axis until it is almost invisible. Take your rotation tool, rotate it on the on the x-axis so it's on its side. Whoops. Rotate it so it's on its side. Mm, it's hard to do, or at least for me it is. Okay, right there. And then rotate it on your Y axis just a little bit. And then use your selector tool. And you can drag it up here. You can make it a little shorter and a little wider to try and fit in here. Just keep doing, keep resizing it until it looks right. There you go. That's kind of good. Just find it to where you like it, um, and then just click up there. And then the one down here should be gray. Click on it again. Control D. 
go up here, drag it by the Z axis to the bottom of your screen. Mine's a little screwed up, so I'm going to use the rotation tool and rotate it slightly. Bring it down a little bit. Maybe bring it out. So there's part of the room. Pretty short room. We'll make it longer later. Um, yeah, so now click on this one. Click on the one that's gray. Control D. Um, click and drag this, your Z with your selector tool over to where it's just about invisible. And then use your rotation tool. Rotate it on the Y axis, like so. And then you can take your selector tool and click on your X on your Z axis, and you can push it back some to the back of the room. There. So there's really short room. You want to make it longer, don't you? You don't want that short of a room. So click wherever. On one of them, it doesn't matter. Go to your effects and presets section. If you don't have it, you can go to window and click effects and presets. Type in the content in the contains. Put type in motion, and then there should be one called motion tile. Um, and then click and drag it down to any of these. Wait, just kidding. Don't don't put on one of those yet. Find your back wall. This one's my back wall. Click on it, hit enter, and type back so you know that that one's the back wall because you're going to need that. Okay, now click and drag this to any of them that's not the back wall. Um, click on this little eye so that you can't see the back wall. Now you want to bring this out for just a second. Take, take this one and click on it and change it to 500 or I'm going to do 550 that's just how long your room is as you can see it's getting longer uh, click on mirror right here um, and then click on uh, click right here where it says motion tile push, push control C then you can make this smaller Bring your back one all the way up here so it's out of the way. Take your remaining three that click on. Okay, wait, no. Put your back one on the far top and put the one that's really long, like say this one, my long one, right under back. So then the bottom three are the ones that's short. Click on your first short one, hold shift, and click on your last one. So it highlights all of them and push control V. I must not have copied it, hold on. <coughs> there we go. Um, and sometimes they're a little off slanted, so you can just take your rotation tool. Whoops. Make sure you're only selected on one wall. You can take your rotation tool and you can rotate it and make it fit right. So you have a room. Let me get the bottom one. The bottom one has to be rotated a little bit and maybe pushed out. Ooh. Okay, there we go. So now it's a little longer. Go to your back one and click over right here so that it's visible again. And now it looks shorter. 